now the topic before us is how increased foreign exchange supply affects exchange rate we will understand this concept with the help of an example suppose we go to the market to purchase onion in the market 100 kg of onion is present for sale and say its price is 1 us dollar per kg next day suppose its supply increases and from 100 kg the supply in the market has increased to 150 kg what will happen it is quite possible that when the supply has increased then the price of that good is likely to decrease other things remaining the constant we are not here taking into consideration the demand and other facts the demand and other things will remain the same then it is likely that the price of onion per kg may decrease because the supply has increased from 100 to 150 so the price of onion is likely to fall will fall in the same way when the foreign exchange supply increases what will happen to the exchange rate this is to find out first is why we demand or why increased foreign exchange supply happens why there is increase in the supply of foreign exchange why there is increase in supply of foreign currency suppose we are in india and here the currency is indian rupee and say other country is us where the currency is us dollar now us dollar is foreign currency for us now what are the reasons that there may be increase in foreign exchange supply the reasons for increase in supply what are the reasons it may be possible that the exports have increased we are from india suppose we are we were earlier sending exports say 100 kg of goods to us dollar we are here taking only example now our import exports have increased 150 kg exports have increased from 100 to 150 kg so when there is increase in exports in return we will get us dollar so the supply of foreign exchange will increase next suppose in india there is improvement in political climate we are taking only example as compared to earlier if there is stability in political climate government is stable stable political climate what will happen when there is a stable political climate in any country then the foreign investors come to make investment in that country so there is inflow of foreign exchange which result into increase in foreign exchange supply so when the atmosphere in the country investment opportunities are good or the government adopts favorable investment policies 
which are favorable to the investors abroad then the foreign exchange supply in the country increases it may be also possible that as you know that every government has foreign exchange reserves if the government of the country sells forex reserves they hold what will happen the supply of foreign exchange will increase so these are the certain reasons why foreign exchange supply increases so now we will understand the impact of increase in foreign exchange supply if the supply foreign exchange increases what effects it has on exchange rate exchange rate means value of a currency in relation to other currency that is how much of foreign currency we can buy with one unit of domestic currency or how much of domestic currency we will have to pay to purchase one unit of other currency let us understand it what we have said suppose the value of one us dollar at present is 82.83 indian rupee exchange rate means that we will have to pay 82.83 indian rupee to get one unit of us dollar this is the exchange rate so we are now understanding this concept with the help of a diagram this is o x is x axis o y is y axis on o x we will write quantity of foreign exchange supplied on y axis we will write exchange rate that is the value of foreign currency in relation to indian currency as you know that demand curve is downward sloping dd is demand curve which is downward sloping ss is ss is supply curve so here the equilibrium point is e and oq is the quantity supplied at exchange rate r so when there is increase in supply what happens when there is increase in supply this supply curve shifts to the right and the supply curve bans becomes s1 s1 so what happens supply has increased from oq to oq1 what it has resulted into it has resulted into decrease in exchange rate here the earlier exchange rate was or now it has decreased to or1 supply has supply of foreign exchange has increased exchange rate has decreased what it means suppose it was earlier 80 rupees 83 indian rupee that is earlier to get 1 us dollar we had to pay 83 but as the supply of us dollar or foreign currency has increased the exchange rate has decreased to say 80 what it means it means that there is appreciation of domestic currency how it has happened earlier to get 1 us dollars we were paying 83 rupees but now to get 1 us dollar we have to pay only 80 rupees so it is appreciation of domestic currency 
it also means depreciation of phone currency how depreciation of phone currency earlier the residents of usa were getting 83 rupee for 1 us dollar but now they are getting only 80 rupee earlier if they were buying 100 goods at the rate 83 they were paying only 100 dollar if they were purchasing 100 goods at the rate of 83 or 1 us dollar they were paying only 100 us dollars but to get the same 100 goods the price of the goods is same 83 in indian rupee the price is same 83 but the value the value of goods is 83 but they will have to pay 8300 in other words indian rupee but now the value of 1 us dollar is only 80 so they will have to make more payment in us dollars so it is depreciation of phone currency now the topic before us is investigating how declining foreign exchange demand influences foreign exchange rate at a personal level we may say that we have no demand in foreign exchange. That is, we do not require any foreign currency. We are from a middle class family. None of our relatives lives abroad. So we have not to send any gift on as birthday gift or on the wedding anniversary of any relative because no relatives are living abroad we do not require any foreign currency as we are having only limited means we do not have any money to make investments abroad when we do not have money we do not require foreign currency our children are studying in a local school so when our children are not studying abroad we have not to send any money to them. So, again, we have no demand for foreign currency. Even we do not have passport. We buy local goods because we are from middle class family. So, there is no import from our side. We do not buy imported goods. So, there is no demand at personal level from our side. At the personal level, we may say so. But when we are discussing the concept of foreign exchange demand, we are studying it from the national level. Because foreign exchange demand, in the case of foreign exchange, it is a concerned with export and import of countries. As a country, we do certain things export, we also import certain goods and services we give loans to other countries we take loans from other countries we make investments abroad we get investments from abroad and when there are national disasters in any part of the world we may be giving some help to them on humanitarian grounds and at times we may also get financial aid from the other countries so these are all economic transactions which take place between our country and the rest of the world and due to all these reasons there is demand of foreign exchange when we are to make investments abroad we require foreign invest foreign exchange so why we demand foreign exchange or rather why there is decline or decrease in foreign exchange demand 
there may be decrease in the foreign exchange demand because if say there are reduced imports suppose earlier we were buying 1000 kg of certain goods from a country say germany germany used to send 100 kg of certain goods to us and we used to pay to them we are from india we have to pay to them for getting imports in return so we have to pay them in their currency in the currency of germany or other currency which they may have asked for example us dollars so we will have to purchase that foreign currency to pay for imports but when our demand has decreased say we are now getting imports of only 800 kg worth goods so naturally what will happen when the demand has decreased when we are buying less as imports then naturally there will be less demand of foreign exchange so first reason is reduced due to reduced imports foreign exchange demand decreases then is speculative depreciation what it means as you may be aware that there is speculative trading in forex market speculative means that the particular investors may think that a particular currency is likely to rise or decrease very shortly the value of foreign currency in relation to the rest of the uh, other currencies is likely to increase or decrease this is speculative trading when the speculators believe that the value of a currency is likely to decrease what will happen they will not purchase more of that currency or they will sell that foreign currency suppose we think that the currency of a country is likely to fall the value of a currency of a country is likely to fall what will happen the speculators will either sell their holding in that currency or not make fresh purchases so it reduces the demand of foreign exchange or the currency of that country then it may happen that if say in a country say there is a country canada and the investment opportunities are not there much which earlier used to be there we are only taking example if the investment opportunities in a particular country have reduced earlier which might be there then the demand of foreign exchange or the currency of that country is likely to reduce the value of canadian dollar is likely to reduce because the investment opportunities have decreased so when the opportunity investment opportunities abroad decrease the demand of foreign exchange also decreases it may also happen that domestic investment opportunities have improved what it means it means that it may be possible that we are from india if we say that earlier the investment opportunities in india were not so good we are taking only example but due to the various measures taken by the government 
in a particular country increase we are here taking the example of india then what will happen when the investment opportunities have increased domestically the people of india who were here making investments abroad will not making investments abroad earlier they were sending their money abroad for that purpose they were there was demand of foreign exchange as now there is they are investing domestically now they, in naturally the demand for foreign exchange will decrease so what happens when the foreign exchange demand decreases we will understand the same with the help of a figure this is ox is x axis oy is y axis on ox we will study or write quantity demanded of foreign exchange on y axis it represents exchange rate or the price of foreign currency in relation to domestic currency this is the demand curve which is sloping downward this is the supply curve which is sloping upward so when the demand increase decreases what happens when demand decreases demand curve shifts to the left this is the new demand curve earlier e was the equilibrium point and oq was the quantity of foreign exchange demanded and or was the exchange rate say it is 83 exchange rate is 83 in other words we can say that we are taking only example 1 us dollar is equal to 83 indian rupee we are taking only example that is to get 1 us dollars we have to pay at present 83 but when the demand has decreased equilibrium point has also changed demand curve has shifted and the new demand curve is d1 d1 whereas supply remains the same and new rate is r1 it is suppose it is 80 what has happened exchange rate has decreased from 83 to 80 and quantity demanded has reduced from oq to oq1 so you can see that here that when the quantity demanded has reduce from oq to oq1 in the same way the exchange rate has also decreased from or to or1 that is from o83 to 80 what it means it means that there is appreciation of domestic currency how it is because earlier to get 1 us dollars we used to pay 83 now to get 1 us dollar we have to pay only 80 we are from india we if we want to pay if we want to purchase 1 us dollar now we will have to pay only 80 rupees so there is appreciation of domestic currency from our point of view from indian point of view but at the same time it is depreciation of foreign currency because earlier the residents of usa were getting 
83 थ्री रुपी इन रिटर्न ऑफ वन यूएस डॉलर बट नाउ दे आर गेटिंग ओनली एटी इंडियन रुपीज सो वेन द डिमांड ऑफ फॉरन एक्सचेंज डिक्लाइंस एक्सचेंज रेट आल्सो डिक्लाइंस थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग इफ यू लाइक अवर कोर्स प्लीज बेर समाइम टू गिव ए स्टार रेटिंग टू अवर कोर्स